Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie and today me and my family are checking out the Living Shores Aquarium in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. This is a fairly new aquarium. It was built and opened in 2019 and this is the only aquarium in the state of New Hampshire. So we were really excited to come check it out. It is located right next to Storyland, which if you happen to be in that area, I do have a separate video on Storyland um, because my family went and checked it out on the same trip. So I will try to link that up at the top so you can check that out as well. I absolutely love aquariums. And so I was really excited to come check this one out. One of my absolute favorite things, which you will see in just a few minutes, is that they have sea otters, which are my favorite animal like in the world. <laughs> so I was really excited about that. I love all of the huge tanks that they had right as you walk in. These were so fun. My kids love standing in front of these. These are like larger than life tanks and you can just see all the different fish swimming around. So this aquarium is split into sections and this section right here at the beginning when you first walk in is like the New Hampshire lakes section. So it does feature all sorts of different fish that you can find in the local lakes, which is pretty neat. The next section that you're gonna go into is the rainforest section. And it's kind of set up like an aviary, which is really cool because they have a lot of tropical birds that are just like flying free in this one area, which is really neat to see. They also do have like, I think a snake, some turtles, some lizards. So um, it's nice to give you that variety that it's not all just fish at this aquarium. Um, and another cool thing is that if you wanted to feed the birds, you can do that for an additional fee. Um, but regardless, you can get up close and personal with these birds, which is really cool. I love interactive stuff like this, especially since we homeschool. Um, it's just really neat. So this little section was super fun and uh, interactive. So next up was the stingray pool which was really neat and actually pretty big as you can see they had tons of stingrays swimming around in here and again this was another one of those interactive things you could reach in and touch them which was really cool the kids loved that if you've never touched a stingray um, they kind of feel slimy it's a very interesting I guess sensation if you ever get the chance to do it definitely do it um, my kids really enjoyed it again this is another thing where you can feed the stingrays for an additional fee and so we did do that um, we let the kids do that and they thought that that was awesome too because the stingrays come up and they almost like suck the fish out of your hand almost like a vacuum is what it feels like so that was really interesting also Got it. 
And then here we go guys, my favorite part are the otters. I absolutely love otters. And these ones were so cute and super playful. Um, they got right up to the glass, almost like looked at you. So that was really fun. They did have some benches right here where you could just sit and watch the otters, which I probably could have done all day. Um, and as you can see, they do have like a slide and some different toys. And like I said, these otters are super playful. So that makes it really fun to get to just watch them. Um, they're almost like little dogs or something. I don't know. They're just super cute. This is one of my favorite parts was watching these otters. Another hands-on and interactive thing to do here at Living Shores Aquarium is the starfish pool and you can check out the starfish and of course you can touch them as long as you leave them in the water and don't completely pick them up. This one was like hanging upside down off the side of the tank which I thought was really neat to get to see and feel the underneath side of the starfish so that was kind of a neat experience to get to do. These little fish were in a separate um, little pond and they were called nibble fish. And again, this is a hands-on interactive thing. This aquarium is just full of interactive hands-on activities. And so this one, you would stick your hands in there and the fish come and just swarm your hands and start nibbling, which I guess is where they get their name. Um, and you can see a shot here of my husband putting his hand in and just so many fish swarmed his hand and I guess he said it was like I didn't stick my hand in there um, to be honest with you <laughs> but my husband said it was like almost like a ticklish sensation but really fun uh, for kids of all ages adults included to check this out this was another fun activity set up for the kids where they could color their own fish um, and then if you put it under this light machine over there, it would, I guess, scan it and put it up onto that projected screen that you just saw. So that was fun for the kids to do. Also behind the kids, I didn't get a great shot of this, but there was a sandbox table that was also fun that the kids could play in. So I liked that um, they did think of some things like that that are just extra fun for the kids. And of course, in the very last tank, we saw Nemo, which every kid loves Nemo, and there was even a couple Dories in there. So that was really fun. That was pretty much the end of our aquarium trip. They did have a spot as you were leaving where you could purchase pictures. They took our picture before we went in, like on a green screen, so you could picture uh, purchase that for a souvenir if you wanted to. They also do have a gift shop and a little cafe where they sell Dunkin' Donuts coffee and like sandwiches and that kind of stuff. We loved our trip here. Um, it is a smaller aquarium, but packed full of fun and things to do. But this is definitely like a quick afternoon trip. You could definitely see everything in, I would say, one to two hours. So we really enjoyed our time here, and hopefully you'll go check it out next time you're in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.